You know, one of the things that you mentioned, uh, I think often through our discussion was the smart meters and, and how more prevalent those are becoming in, in communities all across the country. What can people do if they can, op if they can opt out, great, but if their neighbor doesn't or somebody across the street doesn't, what sort of range do those have that could possibly still be affecting you? They, for me, to know that I got so symptomatic when the nearest smart meter was way across the street and way behind our backyard and we have individual homes, that's what we're living in. So for me, there's nowhere to go. It's, yeah. it's creating such an electrical smog. It's more strengthening your own body. You know, like wearing this, we have a picture of what the energy field looks like before and after using this. Uh, before it's all these holes in it, just like our cell membranes, we're getting holes in our energy field. And just two days use of this technology, nice solid uniform energy field. So it's more strengthening yourself, the high antioxidant diet, the, more, the stronger you can get yourself, the better. But we do have these smart dots for the new smart meters. Um, and so, um, you know, if it's really close and it's on a neighbor, they're, they're tiny little things, they're very thin, you can barely see them, you know, ask your neighbor if you can put one on them if you can't convince them to, mm -hmm. to get rid of it, you know, to, to opt out and get back to the safe meters that we were using for over 100 years. Yeah.